Well, hello there, fellow tone chasers, guitar players, and my other YouTube friends. Welcome back to episode eight of Tone Quest, and today we'll be looking at a preset for the mighty John Petrucci. Well, some of you have asked me before, you have the JP guitar. When are you going to do a JP preset? Well, to sound like him is one thing, to play like him is yet another thing. So I have ventured into the grand scheme of things of trying out his tone. This is the first preset and hopefully there'll be many more to come. So stay tuned for that. Well, when you think John Petrucci's tone, you think Mesa Boogie, right? But that's just the tip of the iceberg, you see. Over his years of career with Dream Theater and as a guitar player, he's used so many of these great amps that it's literally confusing for me now. The list is so long, you've got the JP2C, you've got the 2C++, you've got the 2C+, you've got the Mark V, you've got the Mark IV, the Triaxis, and the Dual Rectifier, and I'm sure I missed a few in there as well. So to be era specific and era correct, I did some research online as to what amps he was using during that time. I think it was 2005 when this album came out, and I was more inclined towards the Mesa Boogie Road King, which is an amp which is not modeled in the Axe FX, but we have the dual rectifier in there. So I tried using that for the stone. And after days of efforts, I just got no. Oh no, that's wrong. So I did some more research online and I found this video of his where he talks about using the 2C plus amp also on the solo album. So that's where things started to click a bit for me. Now, I did learn some tricks while tweaking the preset and getting the tone that I wanted. So in case you want me to do an in-depth video of how I got this tone, Leave me your request below in the comments and I'll surely look into it. Well, the amp is one thing, the cab is yet another monster. So you see the 4x12 uh, Petrucci V30 cab that comes stock with the Axe FX just didn't do the trick for me. It's a little bit too dark for me and a little bit too mid-oriented. So instead I ended up using the USA traditional 4x12 cabs. I used two of them in parallel. Um, you can check them out in the preset. The preset also has chorus and it's got delay and it's got reverb as well. That's the usual things that you'll find in a great lead tone. If you don't have an Axe FX, no need to stress. I've got screenshots for you right at the end of the video, so make sure you check them out. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough and hope you guys will enjoy the preset as well. This one's been really, really challenging for me as I have the signature guitar. I really, really wanted to get close to the tone as much as possible. Hope I did some justice to it. It'll take you a couple of clicks to download my week's worth of hard work. So while you're doing that, can I ask you to click one more button, which is that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of my presets and it'll also help me grow my channel as well and also encourage and motivate me to make more of these presets for you. My presets are always free and they're always stock. You can find them in Exchange. Uh, I'll leave a link to all my presets in the description box below as well. Make sure you check them out. Every preset has a video demo listed with them. If not, please let me know. I'll definitely do a video demo for those presets as well. Hope you guys enjoy and until next time, keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.